Hello friends! Scientists have described nearly 2 million species of animals. However, according to their estimates, it's only a small part of the total number of species that exist on Earth. New species are being discovered all the time. And not just rare mollusks and insects, but also mammals that were previously unknown to science. Seabone Irmelin DiCaprioi snake Scientists have recently discovered a new species of snake in the jungles of Panama. It has bright coloration and very large eyes. The snake measures 38 centimeters in length and lives in trees at a height of 3 meters in the jungles of Panama and Colombia. It feeds on snails and slugs. It doesn't defend itself from predators by biting, but by coiling up and emitting a very unpleasant odor. This snake got its name from the actor and environmental advocate Leonardo DiCaprio. He asked the scientist to name this snake with large orange eyes after his mother, Irmelin Eden Birkin. That's why this species got the name Sibon Irmelin DiCaprioi. Synapteranus danta frog. A new species of frog with noses resembling tapir noses has been discovered in the forests of the Amazon. This species was found in the Putomayo Basin in the Peruvian region of Loreto. It belongs to the genus Synapteranus, with individuals reaching a length of 1.8 centimeters and having brown skin with a creamy colored body. The body shape of this species is perfect for digging burrows, and researchers believe that it has adapted to the soft soils of the Amazonian peatlands. Researchers were able to locate these frogs only because of their distinctive calls. They followed the sound and dug up the frogs. This species was named Synapteranus danta. Researchers note that frogs of this genus are common throughout the Amazonian region, but because they live underground and cannot travel far, each species is concentrated in a small area. Bolitoglossa cathelicidae salamander. A new species of fire salamander, Bolitoglossa cathelicidae, was found in the Chiricui province of Panama. Unfortunately, scientists have classified this species as endangered. It was symbolically named after the famous environmentalist Kathy Ledeck. This species differs from its relatives due to its vibrant red coloration, webbed feet, and an extra tooth in each jaw. Texinus bambus tarantula And this is a new species of tarantula that has been discovered in the province of Tak. According to Konkayan University, the last time a new spider species was discovered in Asia was 104 years ago. According to the research team that made the discovery, this new species differs from other spiders in that it lives inside bamboo stems. It was named Taxinus bambus after King Taxin, who ruled in the 17th century and the spider's habitat. Texinus bambus is the first new spider species found in the Tak province. It was discovered in bamboo forests at an altitude of 1,000 meters above sea level, thanks to a YouTube blogger who posted a video of the specimen on his Facebook page. After that, a group of researchers went to the province of Tak to find the spider. Despite its remote habitat, this species is still at risk of extinction, as only 31% of the forested area in Thailand remains untouched. Eoplos dignitas spider Another new species of spider has been found in Australia. This spider boasts an enormous size, with a length of over 20 centimeters. Due to its unusual dimensions, the animal was named Eolopus dignitas, with the second word translating from Latin to mean dignity or greatness. This new species belonged to the family of so-called trapdoor spiders. One distinctive feature of several species in this family is their ability to independently dig burrows and seal them with their abdomens. These spiders hide in these burrows while hunting. Eoplos dignitas is found in the black soil of the Brigalow Belt in central Queensland, 
located in the northeastern part of the Australian continent. Experts say that even before this discovery by humans, this spider had lost much of its habitat, bringing this to the brink of extinction. Hyloscurtis tokieni frog Scientists from Ecuador, Colombia, and Spain have described a new species of frogs. As in the case of the snake, they were named in honor of a celebrity. As in the case of the snake, they were named in honor of a celebrity, specifically British author John Ronald Ruyen Tolkien, the author of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Explaining the choice of name, biologists write, the amazing colors of the new species invoke associations with majestic creatures that seem to only exist in fantasy worlds. Hyloscurtis tokieni frog was discovered in the highland forests of the Rio Negro Sopladora National Park in Ecuador. The new species is relatively large compared to its closest relatives, with an adult female's body measuring a length of 64.9 millimeters. The coloration of this frog is truly impressive. It has a grayish-green dorsum with paler reticulations, yellow spots, and black speckles. The throat, belly, sides, and hidden surfaces of the limbs are golden yellow with large black speckles. The fingers and webbing between them are yellow with black stripes and speckles. The iris of the eyes is pale pink with a black periphery. Sirhilibrus filifenma fish. It wasn't only land species that have been discovered recently, but also aquatic creatures. Interestingly, for a long time, the rose-veiled fairy race, a fish found off the coast of the Maldives, was simply thought to be an adult version of a fish in the race subfamily. Only now, 22 years later, scientists have come to the conclusion that it's a distinct species. They named it Sirhilibrus finifenma, as rose is the national flower of the Maldives. Moreover, Devehi, indigenous people of this part of the island where the fish lives, have traditionally called the fish finifenma, which translates to rose. The conclusion about the new species of redfin flasher race was reached through careful examination, including observations of Maldivian roses in their natural habitat. They described color changes depending on age and sex, measured the length of each fin ray, and even counted the scales. Atola Reynoldsi Deep Sea Jellyfish It took scientists over 15 years to confidently announce the discovery of a new 10th species of deep sea Atola jellyfish, Atola Reynoldsi. Representatives of this species are known as inhabitants of the midnight zone of the ocean. They literally blend into the surface of the reef due to their external resemblance to an atoll. The new species was found in Monterey Bay and was named in honor of Jeff Reynolds, the first ocean volunteer. What distinguishes Atola Reynoldsi from other species of Atola jellyfish is its intensely red color, the presence of warty pampile, and spiked ridges and, as scientists note, its peculiar charm. However, its main distinguishing feature is the hypertrophy tentacle that can extend to a length six times greater than the diameter of the jellyfish's bell. According to researchers, there are at least two more undiscovered species of jellyfish in the depths of the bay, so new branches may appear on the Atola family tree. Miotis alcachoa bat. Portuguese researchers have accidentally discovered a previously unknown species of bat. They stumbled upon the new species while creating a digital catalog of biological diversity in Portugal. The newly discovered species was named Miotis alcachoa. Its representatives inhabit the mountainous areas of the Peneda Guerres National Park. Some theories suggest that the habitat of these creatures covers the entire northern part of Portugal. In appearance, the new species are almost indistinguishable from their relatives. Mouse-eared bats, subgenus of the Alcochoe bats. These are small and medium-sized bats with a body length of 3.2 to 10.5 centimeters, a wingspan of 17 to 50 centimeters, and a weight ranging from 5 to 76 grams. However, at the genetic level, their differences are quite significant. 
Did you know that there are huge flying bats? The large flying fox is the largest member of the bat order. It reaches a length of up to 40 centimeters, has a wingspan of up to one and a half meters, and can weigh up to 1,100 grams. The face of such an individual resembles the muzzle of a dog or a fox. Phlogis kibalensis leafhopper. This new species of insect was found thanks to its distinctive metallic sheen, which caught the attention of a scientist. The discovery of the new species of leafhoppers, Phlogis kibalensis, was easy and quite literally dazzling. Dr. Heldon was leading a student tour while documenting animal species for a guide to the tropical forests of Kibale National Park in Uganda. Dr. Heldon had been leading field classes in Kibale since 2015, but he only noticed this new species of miniature leafhopper now. The size of the insect's pitted body is 6.5 millimeters. The astounding mirror-like wings aren't the only feature that makes it special. It also has a unique shape of the male reproductive organ. It resembles a leaf. According to the researcher, it is still unknown what Phlogis kibalinensis feeds on, its role in the ecosystem, and why it is so rarely encountered. The last time a member of the Phlogis genus was seen was over a half a century ago, in 1969. Kelonoidus cathamensis tortoise a sensational discovery of a new species of tortoise. Scientists have found a new giant tortoise species on the oldest island of the Galapagos archipelago, San Cristobal. Currently, there are 8,000 tortoises living on the island. It is possible that they belong to the new species rather than the Kelonoidus cathermensis, a subspecies of the Galapagos giant turtle, as was previously believed. Scientists first came close to this biological discovery in 2019 when they conducted a census of the tortoises on San Cristobal. They collected tissue and blood samples from the animals and conducted genetic tests. The results did not match the initial data collected by the California Academy of Sciences in 1906 about the tortoise species on the island, which were studied based on skeletons found in caves. These tests allowed us to conclude that the species found in San Cristobal has not been identified yet or has not been placed in a taxon classification group, said one of the researchers, Danny Rueda. According to him, the coastal zone tortoises of San Cristobal had a different shell than the tortoises in the humid zone, whose remains were analyzed by experts in the past century. Well, that's all for today, friends. Which of the new species did you find the most impressive? Let us know in the comments. Like the video, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.